Hey guys, and welcome back to Phasmophobia. In this video, I'm going to go over how photos work in the game and how to get the most out of them as of the Tempest update. During your investigation, you can take up to 10 photos that can be counted for a monetary reward. If a photo counts for money, it will be labeled and given a star rating in the journal. In general, you can take photos of the following things. The ghost, burned crucifixes, the bone, any cursed items, footsteps lit up by the UV, a pile of salt after the ghost steps in it, ghost writing, dirty water, dead bodies, fingerprints, interactions, and, weirdly enough, the ghost running through the dot's projector. The star rating you are given is based on both distance to what you are photographing and how much in the frame the item is. So in order to ensure you get three star photos, make sure you are as close to your object as possible and make sure the item is fully in frame. To get a three star photo, you need to be roughly within one to two walking steps away from an item. If you are approximately three to four steps away, you will get a two star rating. If you are approximately seven steps away, you will only receive a one star rating. If you are further than this distance, you will not receive any rating. There is a little more leeway given with the distance you are to the ghost during an event for ghost photos, as if you do get too close to them, you run the risk of canceling the event. It should be important to note that you can only get one ghost photo during an investigation. If you already have a ghost photo, any other ghost photo attempts will count as either nothing or an interaction if you get really lucky. The star rating for ghost photos also seems to be centered off a certain point within the ghost model, so that might explain why you may not get a ghost photo counted even when you can clearly see a part of the ghost in the photo. From a few tests, I believe that point is somewhere in the ghost chest, so if possible, try to aim your photos there. For interactions, you can generally take pictures of the following. Doors being touched, light switches being toggled outside of ghost events, lamps turning on or off, objects that have been thrown, showers or faucets turning on or off, responses on the Ouija board, radios turning on or off, the fuse box being toggled by the ghost, or basically anything the ghost interacts with outside of events. Please keep in mind there are some objects that are currently bugged on certain maps, so I am sorry if you take a photo of one of these items and it does not count when it should have. Also, all of these interaction photos need to be taken while it would still be giving off an EMF reading, which usually lasts for 20 seconds after the interaction occurs. If you have a ghost with ghost writing as one of its evidences, you can potentially get two photos off of it writing in the book. If you can get a photo within the time an EMF reading is being given off, you can take two photos of it to get both ghost writing and an interaction. If you are not within that time, you will only be able to get one photo for ghost writing, as that can be taken at any point after the ghost has written in it. For dirty water, you can get an interaction if you take a photo of it within 20 seconds of the sink being turned on. Because the dirty water photo is worth more than an interaction, the dirty water should be prioritized, so be sure to snap two photos to get the interaction to if you want it. The dirty water picture can be taken at any point after the sink has been turned on, but it should be noted that you can only get one dirty water picture per sink. So even if you turn off the water and the ghost turns it back on later, you cannot get another dirty water picture. You can, however, still take a photo of that within the time an EMF value is still being given off to get another interaction photo. For burned crucifixes, you can take four photos in total of both the crucifixes. You can take one photo after one arm is burned off, and then another after the crucifix is fully burned. However, if you don't get a photo after the first arm is burned off and before the crucifix is fully used, you will only be able to take one photo of it. You can also get an interaction photo off of the crucifix being burned if you take another photo within 20 seconds of it being burned. The burn crucifix photo is generally counted before the interaction photo, though do be warned I have had this bug on me a couple of times. We can also now take pictures of salt piles after the ghost steps in it. This is different from taking pictures of where footsteps show up with the UV light, and it can be taken at any point after the ghost has stepped in it. One item that seems to give people problems is taking a photo of the summoning circle. In order to get a three star photo, I recommend crouching and taking a photo of the center of the summoning circle. This seems to almost always give me a three star photo, though I still have had that not count once or twice, though this was most likely just a bug. As of the apocalypse update, the photos are no longer based on a point system. Each type of photo is now given an exact dollar amount, making it easier to know which photo is the most valuable. If you want to make the most money out of photos, you will for sure want to get the ghost photo and the bone photo, any burned crucifixes, and if possible, photos of any dirty water the ghost may turn on on the map. After that, all other photos will be worth the same amount. Obviously, you will get more money from three star photos versus one star photos. 
While the reward for photos is not directly counted in your difficulty multiplier at the end of the game, you do get an extra bonus for getting a perfect game. An extra $10 is added into the multiplier if you get all the objectives, find the bone, and get all three star photos. The photos can be of anything just so long as they are three stars. So there is an incentive to try and get good photos, especially when on higher difficulties. As always, you can only take one photo of any type of object or interaction. Trying to take another photo of the bone, ghost, cursed item, or interaction will result in getting nothing. However, if the ghost then interacts with the same object multiple times, you can take multiple photos of that object to get them all to count as an interaction. The photo priority system has also been updated, so the ghost will be prioritized over everything else. From there, if there are multiple items in the frame, the photo credit is supposed to be given to the item that is closest and most in center of the frame. However, from my testing, I have found that the distance is the most important factor. I have had a lot of times where I have made sure something was in the center of frame, and yet the credit was given to a different item that was off to the side. So just be cautious when you have multiple things in frame. When you take photos of doors, the interaction photo is given based off of the location where the fingerprints would show up on the door if the ghost were to leave them if they had them as evidence. With this new priority system, the interaction will always be counted before the fingerprints photo, meaning you can no longer take photos of doors to check for fingerprints first. Because interactions take priority, you must either go get a UV light to check for fingerprints first, or risk taking a second photo of the door and wasting one of your photos to get nothing if the ghost does not have fingerprints as one of its evidences. You do not, however, need to have fingerprints lit up with a UV light while you take a photo to get credit of it. To help get three stars, I have found it works best to aim for the top half of the doors, as this seems to be where most fingerprints show up. On the camp sites, the interaction is given off of the opposite side from where the flap hangs after being opened. Now, let's talk about getting the photo of the ghost running through the dots projector. Obviously, this can only be done with ghosts that give it as evidence, and it has to be when the ghost is currently running through it. Thus, you have to be spot on, otherwise you get nothing from it. As such, I'd say it's not worth it, since you will get the same reward for taking that photo as you would from getting normal interaction photos, and the interaction photos are a lot less likely to fail. The dots photo is really just there for the memes, but have at it if you really want. Now, as always, the photo system is not perfect and you may encounter bugs. It does happen with early access games, but hopefully with this information, you will be able to reduce how many photos get wasted and you can maximize your photo reward at the end. So thank you so much for joining me and I hope you found this guide useful. If you did, go ahead and leave a like and be sure to check out my channel for other Phasmophobia content. I'd also like to give a huge shout out to my patrons. Thank you guys for your continuous support. I could not be doing this without you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Happy hunting out there, everyone.